So next we have the minimum or maximum. So let's see, let's go with maximum first. So let's run it here. And so we want to find the maximum number. Um, this is where it really comes into play. So we want to find the maximum number of runs a player made. So, you know, one way is compare it manually. Fine. These are 20 records, probably you'll be able to do it in uh, maybe a minute. But uh, imagine if this was 100, 847 records, or 1000, or 10,000, 100,000. Get the idea? So that's where that's why we need this uh, and all that so let's select star from we're gonna what we can do is we can add um, copy it again again we're gonna find the maximum so we we can max but we cannot use it against the uh, star because uh, we don't know the location which one is the maximum or the player name we're gonna go with runs runs column so we want, we want to find who made the maximum ran runs somebody made 1100 so we can find that person's name as well if we just add the name player ID what was it player name we can add the player name here player name comma like this Oh, okay. Yep. So, what we have to do is find the name against that user. We have to select player name where. Uh, I think it was under. So it has to be uh, where. Select max. Let's cut. Yep. So maybe it's too advanced, but uh, what the hell? Let's go with that. So No, it's not here. It's here. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm missing something. So, it's, it was in the select. Let me find out. So, I just made some adjustments. And it's still not. I. It was not giving me the baby line. So, cricket is in mind the select list because it's not contained in the aggregate function or the group by function group by class okay let me find that so i know where i'm making a mistake control x this one gone this one should be where runs is equal to control z where runs is equal to select max runs and and this probably is going to be from so let's run it so it's giving us the name of the player it's not giving us the name and 
player details. So we could we could put here runs as well. So we'll see the runs. So now we can see where the runs against the number. So maximum point. This was a bit too advanced for this video, but uh, finding a maximum value and then we we can find first the maximum value then we can find the details uh, for example if we uh, running this we got 1100 then we want to find the all details what we all we have to do is and this one is uh, fall into nested query as well so we could mm, just put star here select star now we'll get all the details of that player who made the maximum runs you can see so a bit too advanced but yeah we are moving towards a uh, advanced very soon so that's how you run the maximum